G'day everybody, Wong here. Today's video is going to be about the new update, which wasn't as big as our previous one, but in my opinion, this is still a very game-changing update, and you guys will see what I mean. I'm actually going to begin by saying they've added a new map, which is a complete rework of Basra. I have not been able to play it on a full server, so I don't quite know how it plays yet, but it looks fantastic, and Velasquez has gone out of his way a lot here with adding a bunch of small little details around the map that I think are super cool, and the map just looks amazing, so well done Velasquez for that. The the background footage for most of this will actually be me just flying around in spectator. I had some gameplay of me playing as well, but I actually think this spectator footage is more interesting. So I'll have that going in the background and I'm going to be reading out the patch notes. Now, either the title or the thumbnail probably has mentioned this, but I thought I would bring it up anyways. Sniping has been changed significantly. And that is because the sound of a sniper's bullet whizzing past your head is actually different from other weapons now. So when a sniper shoots at you, it's actually a very distinct noise. Like you'll know your sniper is shooting at you, which is interesting, meaning that if you're getting sniped at, you'll know right away, hey, I wanna move because I'm getting you know, sniped at. It's not just like an AK or an MP5 or something. It's actually a bolt action. So if you play sniper a lot and you farm flanks pretty heavily, you're gonna have a lot harder times. You're gonna kill one person and everyone's gonna hear the bullet and start looking for you. Now, another reason why sniping has changed a lot is because sniper rifles will now leave a bullet trail that lasts for three seconds. I do have some footage of this. I'll chuck it up in the background um, if I can. It'll also just be playing in the background footage eventually, so I might not have it right now. It might be later. But yeah, there's a trail that... Um, if you imagine a trail in your head, it'll probably be what you imagine. It's like a short, small cloud trail. And I must say that I already have used this quite well to pinpoint snipers. Now, I want to be 100% honest, I generally don't have a hard time locating them in the first place. I generally, when I'm getting shot at, I can generally find them pretty quick. But now with this trail, I don't just sort of know a rough direction of where the sniper is. I now know exactly where they are, which is definitely different. If you're a sniper who dies to snipers a lot, you're going to die even more now. Other snipers are going to be easily locating you and taking you out. And now you're going to have to be really stressing about counter sniping now, um, which is a good thing. But also, I personally don't think snipers needed that big a nerf, but I know a lot of people did. So I actually think this will be a change that makes a lot of people happy. People who do snipe, you're going to have a lot harder time now. And another thing is just to double make sure the new sniper sounds as well. Snipers can now be heard up to 2000 meters, which is insane, of course, but they'll be very very quiet from a large distance, so don't stress too hard about that. Another thing I wanted to mention is the spotting is now different. So the you spotting an enemy and making a red triangle appear above their head, the red triangles will now by default be a lot bigger. And also you can change the size as much as you want. You can also ping enemies whilst you're down. So if you've been killed, you can ping the enemy so everyone knows where they are. Um, air drones can now spot enemies as well and do the pings. They will last 12 seconds on an enemy. And the maximum number of pings is now six per squad instead of three, meaning that oh, you can actually ping a lot more enemies without being punished, which is really, really good. I think that the 3D spotting becoming more powerful across the board will be good because I think that it was a system that I originally thought would change the game a bunch, but when it dropped a couple, you know, like a week ago or so, I noticed that it didn't really affect my gameplay at all because the red pings above people's heads were really, really small and they didn't occur very often and there was a bug with making them occur by clicking the ping button, whereas now all of those things have been fixed. It's as if the update has actually dropped for the first time now. So if you were worried about 3D spotting, it dropped and then you thought, no, it's actually all right. Well, you know, imagine it actually only just dropped right now. So let's actually see how we feel and, you know, re bring back our expectations again and try to look at it objectively again because the old version we had for the past week really wasn't a full version. So yeah, I'm excited to see how it'll affect the game. I once again haven't really been playing on a full server yet so I can't truly tell. But um, it was very interesting. I got a few kills due to red pings I didn't think I would have gotten um, without them. And then also, I don't really think I had too many deaths that felt too extra though, which is a good thing. Um, of course there would have been, but I just didn't really feel frustrated by it at all. I didn't feel like I was dying more or anything. So that's interesting, but anyways, um, moving on. The 
footsteps have been made more directional so now you'll be able to tell someone's direction from their footsteps a lot easier and apparently the enemy's footsteps are now louder i actually think this is very interesting because enemy footsteps being louder means that even the casual player can actually start countering the good players a lot faster i know a lot of people um think that's not true they go oh well now the good player is just going to know where i am all the time but honestly the good players already did now it's just going to be easier for those who haven't done that before to now start doing that which is good another thing is um teammates footsteps are now no longer audible beyond 20 meters which is really good because sometimes you'd hear your teammates and turn around you know um even though they're very far away and things which you definitely don't want to do oh yeah smoke density has been changed so now smokes look a little bit different i still don't think they're perfect but honestly it's an amazing step in the right direction and i'm glad they're focusing on it because i think smokes could be very powerful um if they actually worked i think they could be very very powerful If you guys remember the film grain settings, um, or the, I would, I want to call it a bug, even though it wasn't really, there was like a bit of a thing where there was a ton of film grain last update that's now been fixed. You can go into the video settings and change it. Another thing that they've done is made it so when you're doing the build menu, your mouse sensitivity is fixed. It's no longer really, really slow on certain resolutions, which is really, really good. And I think the last big thing to mention is the animation for proning and cr uh, crouching has now been adjusted, which is really good. Because you used to be able to, when you get up from prone and then get back down behind like a concrete barrier, your view would be different from what the enemy see, and you'd actually die a fair bit. So I think it's really, really good to make that more doable. I remember in my How to Die Less video, I recommended proning as little as possible, like doing proning and up and down and said crouching. But um, now it should be a lot better. So anyways, yeah, the update honestly is pretty good. I think the new map is going to be really fun to play. And yeah, I'm happy that they're doing an update this quick i think it was really good to fix some of the issues right off the bat and yeah anyways that's all i can really say about the update oh actually you know what um for those of you who watch a lot of my videos this is the last thing if you don't watch my videos this you won't care about this bit chromatic aberration on the loadout screen has been reduced that is a very interesting thing because in the loadout screen your gun would have like i'm going to call it like a 3d glasses effect if you guys have used those like old school ones the blue and red ones it's kind of like the edge of the gun go like blue and red they call that chromatic aberration um now that's been reduced that's actually really good because all of my thumbnails use the loadout screen and the chromatic aberration can make the guns look a little wonky sometimes and it's like really hard to make for my thumbnails but now that's been reduced my thumbnail is going to be a lot easier to make so that's really really cool not really a big gameplay thing but um for me that's pretty big uh yes yeah, so that's pretty cool anyways um thank you guys very much and have a good one. Actually, don't have a good one just yet. I forgot that the game has now dropped like a test server type thing. I'll put a screenshot up here. This is a message from the lead developer in the Discord on how to get in and everything. And this will let you try out new updates. I'm going to try and hunt down whether I'm allowed to record on it. I assume so because it's pretty public. So I assume I'm allowed to record and upload some stuff but next time this is a thing i'll definitely be playing and try to get you guys sneak peeks on the new updates and what's going on on the test server because i think it could be very interesting because it might potentially lead to you know earlier knowledge on what the future updates will be so once again join the discord i'll try to remember but i'll try to chuck it in the description and the top comment it's easier to put it in the description so i'll definitely do that but yeah, I'll put a link to the Discord in the description. And yeah, you can get the tester roll to know when we're going to be playing in the next update. So yeah, anyways, now have a good one, everybody. And I hope you enjoyed the video. See you.